Welcome to this video about running IV tests on board the Keithley 2450 SMU, part of the Element 14 road test review of the new IV Tracer software by Gough Louis in June 2020. The Keithley 2450 SMU is a versatile instrument with many onboard features. Using only the 2450 SMU's inbuilt sweep generator feature, it is possible to configure a sweep to characterize a green LED in positive bias. In this case, I set up a single linear sweep from 0 to 3 volts in 1001 steps with a current limit of 25 milliamps with the remaining settings on their defaults. This generates a trigger model and source configuration, which can be run from the front panel to perform the sweep. The next step is to clear the reading buffers so there aren't any stray readings. Then we can proceed to watch the sweep in action by heading to the graph module and hitting the trigger key to begin. The graph automatically scales to accommodate the data as the test proceeds. As I have set up many test points, this test takes a while to complete, so this part of the video is running at 10 speed. The resulting trace has some back and forth jitters, which is rather abnormal. I believe this is caused by the unit that I received, which seems to have a number of abnormal behaviours depending on the range that it is currently working in. This suggests that my unit is perhaps faulty in certain ranges. Once the sweep is completed, the user can navigate the plot and pinch to zoom quite intuitively from the front panel of the unit without requiring any PC assistance. The second method requires the IV Tracer software license. A trial is available. This is loaded as an app onto the 2450 via the use of the Kickstart software on the PC, but then remains resident on the 2450 itself. Running the app recalls a setup I have saved as a default for tracing an LED. Turning the output on, the trace can be made by rotating the knob, where each step is plotted as a dot and the step size is dependent on how quickly the knob is rotated. This is not quite as smooth as a real curve tracer, requiring much back and forth to get the finer details. It is possible to configure a VI current sweep as well. There seems to be a subtle bug every time the mode is changed, resulting in an error dialog. This takes advantage of the 2450's true current source capability. Thus, we are now stepping current to trace the LED, producing a better graph, although with the axes swapped. It is also possible to trace negative voltages. Here I've decided to trace the reverse bias characteristics of the LED down to minus 200 volts. Being cautious, I take the step slowly, but here it's been sped up by tenfold. It seems that this LED is particularly good, handling about minus 170 volts without much in the way of current flow. The same kind of test can be achieved using the first method. In this case, I configured fewer points to make a faster sweep. The results are quite similar, although as the sweep was configured in a single direction, it comes up as just a single line. Using the sweep generator requires a bit more thought in configuring the parameters and provides less control during the sweep. The IV tracer is easier to set up and offers user direct control. However, as of now, the knob-based control requires a lot of twisting and turning, has acceleration which can be difficult to adjust to, and only plots points relatively infrequently. However, there is potential for the IV tracer to improve into the future. The third method is to use the onboard TSP capabilities to run a script. In this case, I am testing a MOSFET which requires at least two power supply channels. I have coded a script to make this happen. The VDS in this case is supplied by the 2450, while the VGS is being supplied by the Roden Schwartz NGM202 sitting below. The 2450 is capable of using TSP Link to connect to other Keithley instruments directly. However, the TSP net capabilities also extend to controlling other instruments via LAN.
In this case, the 2450 is controlling the whole show, commanding the NGM202 to produce various different VGS values while recording the current and voltages locally onto the USB memory stick attached. This doesn't provide a graphical illustration of the sweep, but it is possible to produce such a sweep even including multiple sources without the need for a computer. The data will, however, need to be processed later. In this case, the video has also been sped up as the test takes some time to complete. If you can use a computer, there are a number of other possibilities, including the IV characterizer feature within Keithley Kickstart. This software is offered with a trial period, but otherwise requires a license. Or you can break out your coding skills and command the instrument directly over Skippy or TSP remote control and code your own solution. The Keithley 2450 is quite versatile and capable, both with or without PC assistance. This has been Goff Louis reviewing the Keithley 2450 SMU with IV Tracer for the Element 14 road test program.